let's move on to the ear because the ear actually, uh, unlike the eye, the ear can actually, according to you guys, actually makes sound because it's a complex network of structures that receives sound waves and, and sets in motion sort of a domino effect. Um, but like our eyes, our ears can mislead us. And you're gonna show us another example yeah. of that. And again, it's not misleading in the sense, okay. right? It's always trying to generate something that was useful, right? Uh, so we're going to do, we'll do a little demonstration, uh, and it's, the, again, it's on sound, and it's to show the context of, of how everything your brain does is contextual. I mean, your brain evolved not to see, you know, not to even detect absolutes, but detect relationships. So actually, quickly, if, if you, um, right now, if you're, as you're looking at me, your eyes are actually moving. You don't know it. They're called the cause and micro So you can actually stop your eyes from moving by covering one eye and taking your finger and putting the ear tear duct and forcing your eyeball to the back, right? You can do it at home with your kids. Wait, okay. what? <laughs> um, and what happens? So your eye